ゴッドゴッドくたばれ Hello, what is up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing something different, which is a stop motion review of Katsuki Bakugo. A stop motion review is a review that is done in stop motion from Kyoto Amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Revel Tech. Here is how the front of the box looks like, as you've already seen. This is the right side of the box, left side of the box, top, bottom, and the back. Choking hazard, small parts, not for children under 15 years. Removing Bakugo out of the packaging, you can see that Kyoto, as always, includes an amazing artwork in the background, in which you can also pull out and maybe even use as a poster, if you want. You can already see he comes with a lot of accessories at the back, even more accessories. He also comes with an instruction manual. Now here is Bakugo, finally out of the packaging, and aesthetics-wise, this guy just looks amazing. Sculpting is absolutely superb. This could have easily become the best My Hero Academia figure from Kyoto, only if he didn't have those two issues. At the back, still looks amazing. You can see all the muscle tone and wrinkles in the pants, really awesome. But of course, no figures are perfect. The black lines on the spiky ear thingies on his back wasn't painted straight enough. Moving on to accessories, first he comes with four pairs of interchangeable hands, pair of fists, pair of open palm hands, widespread hands or blasting hands, and a pair of thumbs up hands. He then comes with four types of faces, two with the mask on and two without the mask. You can change the direction of where his eyes are looking, and you have 13 interchangeable eyes for that, including the ones already attached on the other faces. However, the unmasked faces don't share this feature, so you can only use his interchangeable eyes on the mask faces. To change the facial expressions, you just gotta remove the front of hair piece, then remove the face, then plug the desired face and replug the front hair. For the unmasked face, he comes with a swappable back hair piece with his spiky thingies from his mask. To put these on, you gotta first remove everything including the whole head, then plug the unmasked back hair, then plug the desired unmasked face. You know, putting his front hair upside down with this face, he kinda reminds me of someone. Bakugo also comes with extended parts for his grenade gauntlets. This is when Bakugo releases all the stored up nitroglycerin-like sweat from his gauntlets and blasts a massive amount of explosion in one large area. To replace the parts peg in the gauntlets, you just gotta pull it out and then peg the extended version. Of course, this feature will not be complete without the safety pin ring. You just slide it in one of his fingers like that, and now you can recreate one of his iconic moves from the series. Bakugo also comes with interchangeable arms. This is how his arm looks like without the grenade gauntlets. To swap the arms, just easily remove the gauntlet and peg the other one. Bakugo also comes with three pairs of explosion effects. To use these effects, they included these ball joints that you can attach to every effect like this. These two pairs of explosion effects can be pegged in together if you want to use a much more explosive detail effect. His hands has holes in them so you can just easily plug in all the explosion effect and there you have it. The only issue you have with this effect though is that it's very heavy even for the figure. Bakugo's arms will just fall down most of the time, especially when you're using both the small and big explosion parts together. But with a little bit of patience, it can work out sometimes. Of course, he also comes with a pair of slashing kind of like explosion effect, and you can only use this in the alternative arm without the gauntlets. The arm has a hole in the middle right there, and you can just plug it in like that. Also, you'll notice there's a hole in the upper edge of the effect. That's because you can actually use the small explosion effect and plug it in. And BAM! There you go. He also comes with an AP shot effect. Just plug it in the fist, and there you go. And then Bakugo also comes with your standard Revel Deck stand that you can attach to his back. It'll help him stand most of the time without falling off. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of the Revel Deck stands. They just can't support the figure in the air. You can also attach a clip for the stand if you don't want to use the hole in Bakugo's back. Just clip it on his waist or wherever you want. He then comes with two onomatopoeias effects saying BOOM. Please note before using them, you gotta remove the plastic. Then he comes with this piece that you can attach to the stand, clip it in there, and then put it on your display like that. Now, finally moving on to articulation. Bakugo's head can move left and right, tilt that far, move up pretty far, thanks to the back hair being able to slide up. Then of course he can also look down pretty far. 
then with his unmasked head, his head can move about the same left and right tilt, however does not look up much, which sucks but still looks down pretty good. The spiky thing is on the back of his head can move around, his collar can also move around as well as easily pop off. He's got an amazing ab crunch that can move all the way down, move all the way back and rotate. The arms can move back, forward, all the way up and outward. Elbows can move pretty far without the gauntlets, a little bit hindered with the gauntlets version. And yes, the second issue with this figure, which is the most annoying issue you're gonna get, are the gauntlets falling off every time you move the arm too much. The peg is not long enough to support the weight of the gauntlets and the explosion effects will make it even worse. However, KGR suggested that removing the stem piece around his elbow can help. I tried it and it did help a lot. As you can see, it fixed the problem very well. So thank you very much KGR, however the explosion effect still falls down sadly. Hands are in your standard ball joint, can move down, up, and rotate. His belt is on a separate piece that can move up and down. This is to help his legs move up without being limited by the belts. Legs can move outward, move all the way up, can move back, knee bend, foot can move back, forward, has toe articulation, rotate, and amazing ankle pivot. For some height comparisons, here he is standing next to the other My Hero Academia figures that I have around here. Here he is standing next to the McFarlane All Might, Dawson Model Saitama, and Konosoba Figmas. Oh, and let's not forget that you can use the grenade gauntlets on Deco too. Isn't that great? So overall, this figure is an amazing addition to the My Hero Academia line. It's just a big letdown that his gauntlets and collar keeps popping off. That is literally my own problem in this figure. But yeah, it's irritating, it's a bummer, he had those issues. But hey, everything else is 10 out of 10, I can tell. So I still love this figure despite those issues and soon you'll be seeing him on my upcoming stop motion videos. Spoiler alert, Fig Film Alternative 9? Or 8. I think, no, I think it's 8. <laughs> I've even lost count because I was doing lots of other videos, you know, Spider-Verse. And for those who are new to this channel, no, I am not all about reviewing. This channel is more focused on stop-motion animations using figures like these and LEGO. I just did a review video for now because I just wanted to. I, I think it's fun. Anyways, this is Josh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to everyone. I'll be seeing you in the next video.